Hello everyone, this is Alex from Mr. Retro Central and I'm just going to show you how to get Bring in the Heat achievement today in Saints Row 4. Now you want to come to this fight club in the middle of the map. Um, it's a difficulty hard fight club and you pretty much want to power through wave 1 as quick as possible. Um, because in wave 2 there's kind of a king of the hill um, kind of mode up the top. But you want to ignore that, you want to come to the corner of the map here. Um, you want to use your, your heat buff, uh, special superpower. And you're pretty much going to activate it and kind of run around all these guys here. Now it's very simple, it doesn't take very long to do it all. You're pretty much going to keep activating You're your buff and pretty much run around them, sprint around them, whatever. It does help a lot if you if you upgrade the buff up as much as possible. So, you know, the, the recharge on is quicker, it, its effect area is bigger, and all that, all that kind of stuff. So you pretty much just want to activate it and run around and kind of sprint around until it's fully recharged because it, it does when they hit you with the bat it does knock you over and it does get annoying quite a bit so you're pretty much just going to run around them in circles and this achievement as i was saying before is really the easy to do and it shouldn't take you long but if for some reason you can't do it in the in the allotted time they give you and you do fail the mission don't panic and another thing as well don't worry about uh pressing retry a mission because There's that will actually it won't actually attack. save your stats um, what it will do is it will reset everything and you'll come back to where you began with the same stats and the same amount of food you had before. You want to click exit activity and then you can rejoin it once you're outside of the map. So that, that, that's pretty much how you got to do it. Because as I was, like as I was saying, if you retry, none of your stats will be saved. But you, everyone, everyone sh shouldn't take long and you should be able to do it in the, the lot of time they give you. So pretty much what I'm doing here is that's pretty much what you want to do. They don't claim the and this, spot, you know, the outside of the map, as I was saying, is probably the best area to kind of do it. Because they just keep spawning in because of the game mode. Their zone of control that's why I get paid the big bucks. Another thing as well why I chose to do it in this spot um, is because I already kind of beat the game and I'm pretty much, I'm like maybe around 95%. Uh, co like completed the game, so the kills only actually count um, towards alien kills. Now, if you see in the top right-hand corner, when I'm killing these guys, it counts as an alien kill. Um, so you can't really use it on civilians and run around, and it, it, it's it's kind of harder to do if you you know start hitting civilians until the cops come and then the aliens the come. It's kind of a bit of a waste of time. So you, it only took me a few minutes, and you can do it through here, and it's very quick. It's probably the most efficient way to do it. Um, I am running a few other videos as well on some other achievements, like the other superpower achievements as well. So if you want to check those videos out, that'd be cool. So yeah, I'm almost done. Contestant, better take the area. I did that. Just remember, you can the buff stays on you while you're sprinting around. Here's the achievement. Anyways, I'm Alex from Mr. Retro Central and thanks for watching.